Hi, hello. It's wow, two days in a row. Wow, we, wow, we. I just realized I'm so zoomed into this from when I was taking a picture for <laughs> posting on Twitter. Hi! Hello! I have no plan for what to actually talk about during stream. I'm literally just gonna draw, um, so I might be a bit quiet today. Like, I, I clearly- I just wanna draw, <laughs> and I figured I might as well do it on screen. So last time we managed to get this part lined. <laughs> um, and now it's the background stuff to do. How am I doing? I don't know, I haven't done much today. Uh, I mostly just played Tears of the Kingdom, honestly. Um, I got a donut. Well, it wasn't really a donut, it was like a chocolate cream tower or whatever. Um, but, no. Chocolate cream tower. It was quite good. Um, I just was like, um, well, I want to get a donut because it's been a bit and it doesn't- it's like a five minute thing. <laughs> so I did. Um, and that was about it for that. <laughs> it was just like a nice little thing I had pretty much right before stream. Um, and then just quickly got set up. Stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to try and get this done today, hopefully, preferably. It, w it sure would be nice 
Um, I think I'll be able to. Or at least I'll, I'll definitely get the line work done today. Um, and probably the flat colors. The shading might take a bit longer, actually. So maybe that won't be today. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see what happens. Um, to be honest for this, I don't really have a um, idea of where the location is supposed to be. It's just like vague. This is terrain. That's about it. That's all I got. So who knows? But coloring would be fun with this, I think. Because I want it very specifically to be a blood moon. I figured that would be kind of fun. Because that's like the worst situation. Uh, with one of these gloom hands. It's like, you just fought one and then it's like, immediately after a blood moon. So it just respawns again. One of the fairies songs from Zelda. The, uh, Rito... Rito Village one, I think? Thanks, game! No. I've... I've had a few... near situations with that. If I notice a blood moon, I'll usually just be like, fuck it, I'm running. I'll wait. There's no point. But if I don't know, it's gonna be a blood moon. I mean, usually by that point, I'm already gone. Like, I fought it, I won, I winned it. <laughs> um, I'm gone by that point. But, yeah. When I was playing today, I spent like a decent chunk actually exploring the depth. Um, like, much longer than I usually do, actually. Um, I had a relatively peaceful, undisturbed time in the vents. I got some in the vents, in the depths. Um, I suppose they're the same thing, huh? Um, you know, I got some treasure. I found like a good seven light roots or something. Maybe more? Might have been more, actually. I don't know. I did quite a few of them. For some caves, I killed a Stalnox really fucking easily. Um, I tried to access the depths from um, Skull Lake, and then immediately was like, "Oh fuck this, I'm out," because it was all just like there was nowhere to go, and I was in the House of Bones, and there were Stal monsters. And it was a Stalnox, and I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this right now. So I just fucking left. <laughs> I feel like it has uh, prevented me from more deaths, more deaths than necessary in this game. Because the game is definitely harder than Breath of the Wild was, I think. Probably from a mix of, like, they just drop harder enemies way faster. Um, well, also to the dead weapons. <laughs> the shittier weapons. It's just, like, damn. I still haven't upgraded my, uh, Zonai battery at all. I should probably go do that at some point. Because I saw a thing on TikTok earlier that I think is very fun. Where it's basically making a fucking laser death drone to fight Gleox. <laughs> Which consumes like three batteries a second. Because it's doing like 17 Zonai devices at once. It's like, uh, I only have one battery bar right now. Still at the default. I've finished two, two whole uh, temples. And procrastinated doing the rest while I just go fucking exploring wherever. Uh, and I still haven't upgraded that shit. <laughs> Not even a single time. But, you know. They'll probably do it at some point. 
but I keep forgetting. Like, I'm like, oh, I should go do that, and then I get distracted by something. And so I just haven't... haven't done it yet. I suppose that's kind of the whole thing with this game. Huh. Endless distractions. I'm well known to have a super great attention span and to not get distracted by anything ever. You know? Attention span, being able to focus on anything for more than 10 minutes is a superpower. Yep. I have very little of it available when it comes to video games, apparently. Why having quests is insanely important for me, because I'm just like, otherwise I don't know what I'm doing. I will completely forget within like two seconds. See something and be like, oh, that's cool, and then where am I? I don't know. so much. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that VTube studio. Stop it. I also, very important thing that I didn't say, I um, also, well it's not really important, but like, while well, I'm talking about what I did in Tears of the Kingdom today, I explored Hyrule Castle a bit, because I was avoiding it for a while, because, I mean obviously I played Breath of the Wild, and so I was like, oh that's Endgame, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. Um. Fucking nothing stopping you. Unlike, because unlike Breath of the Wild, you do actually kind of have to. Well, no. Because you can do. Usually never end game, but you gotta do all the side quests first. Well, no, because in Breath of the Wild. Like, it was, because if you accidentally walked into- like, everything was a lot harder, and if you accidentally walked into the sanctum, you were kind of fucked. You weren't prepared for it. Um... But, you know, I went to the sanctum specifically because one of the side quests is there. Um, to get the improved champion tunic, which I got. Um... You know, like... I didn't explore it fully, um, because there was a lot of gloom around, I was like, I'm not dealing with that. Um, but, like, I haven't gone to, like, the docks or anything, which, I know there's a gloom hen there, and I know apparently the Hylian shield is there, but I just haven't gone to do it yet. Um, didn't feel like it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to deal with that right now. I'll, I'll do that later, but I mean, I got the shrine up there so I can go whenever I want to the upper levels that has the actual, like, dungeon, quote-unquote. 
dungeon that only treats like a dungeon by virtue of having the map. Which I am- I am so fucking glad that they changed their map system for dungeons in, in Tears of the Kingdom from Breath of the Wilds. Because Breath of the Wilds was a fucking 3D nightmare, right? Especially Hyrule Castles. You could not discern any fucking information off of it. Whatsoever. And I'm so glad they just made it a layered 2D map. A flat 2D layered map, top down. And that's it. And it's fine. <laughs> I don't know what in, what the hell they were thinking of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> With having the fucking 3D nightmare map. Because that- I never used that shit, because you could not discern any information off of it. Do we want to be a to stuff to the kingdom? Yeah, I- I haven't had any issues with it. I've quite enjoyed it. It's got good challenge to it. Um, because like with Breath of the Wild, I feel like a lot of the challenge- I mean, it's, it is a bit the same with Tears of the Kingdom. Like, one, once you're a bit more set up, like, it's not- too difficult, but there's still stuff that's like there's more enemy variety, um, and of course the Zonai devices are really fun to play with. Um, no. I think it also feels a bit more structured story-wise from what I hear, or from what I've done anyway. Like it feels a bit more important, I suppose. Um, like to actual end game. Not that Breath of the Wild is bad, but like obviously it was a lot more obvious with Breath of the Wild that you could just go straight to the fucking end boss. I think you can still do that in Tears of the Kingdom. I think it's just in the depths now. And it's a lot harder to do that. Like you can. You absolutely can from what I've seen. Because I've seen people did it by accident. <laughs> um, I've seen that people like would go to the depths for the first time and they found the Colosseum and they went through the Colosseum and they somehow managed to be all the way through and only then then did they realize like oh shit this is actually where the final boss is. <laughs> um, I've seen some people did that so it was a bit less obvious. Um, although when I did go to Hyrule Castle I think I did find, like, uh, the way down to that directly. Um, I didn't, like, go in because I noticed where it was and I realized, like, oh, wait, this is, like, the beginning of the game. Um, I'm gonna avoid this because I don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally fight the final boss because I don't know. Um, I don't know how far down it goes, so I didn't break the wall. To go down or anything. But I know where it is. I know how to access it now. Um, <laughs> whatever that means for now. Although I'll have to find it again, but I, I saw it. I saw where it was. So I know it's somewhere in Hyrule Castle where I have in fact been before. <laughs> You know, on the lower levels. But I got some cool gear from it though. There's some weapons up there, especially next to the Sanctum or around it. The weapons there are very good. <laughs> um, it's, it's very powerful weapons compared to everything else you've been getting in the game up to that point. Any other games I've been playing? Not really. I've mostly just been playing Tears of the Kingdom. I I tend to just, uh, at least on console games, I tend to stick to one until I either beat it or get bored of it. Um, yeah. I haven't really been playing PC games uh, at the moment. Mostly because any of the saves for the games I was playing um, died with my SSD, so uh, I still have to transfer the files for like Sims 4 and stuff again. 
<laughs> Sigh. But, yeah. So it's a bit. I, I feel like once you lose a save unintentionally, it's a lot harder to get back into playing a game. Like, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've mostly just been playing Tears of the Kingdom. It has um, taken over most of my concentration and all of, the, all of my other concentration has been dedicated to drawing stuff, <laughs> I suppose. It's kind of split between those two things and that's about it. I have only, like, been actually free to do stuff for, like, a week now. <laughs> so, I have time now. Those. I actually kind of need to make it so that I have less time again. Um. Quite crucially, I suppose. No. Yeah. What are the plans? I don't know. I only have a very, very loose plan. Um, is just apply to stuff and do commissions and um, try to make up some stock for selling at cons. Um, but I'd like to start doing that next year, I think. I think next year. Most of the cons this year are already kind of filled up for our Sally stuff and I don't think it would be enough time for me to make enough uh, stuff and print it. Because I, I need to be able to afford printing costs, quite importantly. Um, <laughs> so. That's why I'm kind of doing a lot of fan art at the moment, kind of so I can build up. I mean, aside from not having had much time to do it in the past few years, um, you know, it's also so that I can make more fan art stock. Because, like, I can, of course, sell uh, original art uh, with my OCs and stuff, and, like, if they look nice enough, they do sell, and I have found that out, um, which is cool. Um, but I feel like it's good to have both, a bit of both, you know? Um, especially at most cons, like, people will go for... There's people who will go for more original work, and there's people who will go for more fan art. So I feel like it's good to have a balance of the two when you're selling at a con. At least from my observations of my own. <laughs> Uh, buying habits at cons, and um, from listening into what other people buy while I'm waiting to buy something. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just kind of my general thinking. But I would quite like to do cons. I think that would be fun um, and cool. And maybe also figure out how to sell prints online as well, but I don't know. <laughs> that one's a bit more complicated, I feel like. I mean, I it's kind of a direction. It's more a general art direction than like actual career direction. Um, but it's kind of like stuff I want to do while I'm trying to find like stable work, I suppose. Um, but I'm mostly interested in freelance at the moment, I think. Um, or remote studio. Just because that's, I think, best for me. Um, I don't want to have to move 
<laughs> too much, ideally. Yeah. Um. I'm like I have applied to stuff, but probably gonna take a while of applying to things before I land something uh, outside of freelance commission stuff. Because I, I feel like I can do commissions quite, like, not super stably, but like, decently. I know how to manage them, like, I've done them for years now. You know. So that's our way. <laughs> that's something. But I'd like to do animation commissions, but I don't know how to price them really, because with animation I'd much rather price per hour, so I'd have to like try and figure out an estimate for how long an animation takes me at different stages. You know? Um, or I could just do, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh my god, what are they called? Um, basically like an insert character here. Your character here. That's what it's called. Um, I could do your character here. Animations, I've seen some people doing that. Yeah, there's directions. I'm not overly worried. Um... That's kind of actually what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to get overly worried. Like, in the absolute worst case scenario, I'll just, you know, get a job at a cafe or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, if, I, if I'm really... If I really can't get, like, industry stuff. But, apparently... Gosh. Apparently people are not worried. So, I'm not gonna worry. I'm not going to worry too hard about it. I am aware that um, animation jobs are a little, a little funky at the moment. AI art is um, causing some messes. Some studios are being kind of whack. <laughs> you know. So I'm not. I'm not gonna get worried. Like if I do, I will cry. <laughs> but I know there's also stuff outside of those, so. Understandable, my feel is pretty wet, so. Yeah. I feel like a lot of things are kind of struggling at the moment. Um, at least from an outside perspective. Um, but also, because like, right now, um, with uh, American side of the industry, I suppose there's also the strikes going on. Um, and that's having like a knock-on effect, I suppose. Even though it's not... Or at least as far as I'm aware right now, it's not the Writers and Animation Guild, it's just the general Writers Guild, but it, it still... It still has a um, knock-on from what I've been hearing. Um, so there's a lot... A lot going on and I'm not gonna get overly tied up. Because it takes time. I do still 
I still haven't done it. I need to double check. Um, and go through my commission prices and make sure that they actually reflect that I need to like pay for life things <laughs> to survive, you know. Yeah. I might put a thing from those for animation commissions would just if I were to do them, it would just kinda of depend on I guess it would be like a custom quote, depending on what's wanted, you know. But I don't like giving uncertain costs like that, you know? Especially because I'm not always fully confident in them, because I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I suppose at some point I need to go and just time how long it takes me to animate a second's worth of animation, you know? to take into account now, I suppose. So I'm just like, ooh. I didn't draw a no claw on this one. And while playing this game, I feel like um, the gloom hands, sometimes you can ki I kind of get like a gut feeling of like they're gonna spawn here. I should stay off the ground. I know they're gonna spawn here. And then they do, and I'm like, I fucking knew it. You know, like, it's just like. A little bit of gut instinct, um, but it's kind of saved my ass. Um, like, I was in Akala while I was playing today. These senses. <laughs> I was playing and I was in Akala, and I think it was in Akala. I don't know. I was somewhere. <laughs> I think it was in Akala. I'm not entirely sure. I don't fully remember. Um, but there was like a little tree trunk thing. Um, and there were a bunch of them, but there was one in particular while I was coming down from the shrine that I, I looked inside and was like, it's gonna spawn. And then it fucking did. Like, as I landed on it, it spawned. I was like, I fucking, I knew it. And then I made it despawn and just grab this loot. <laughs> grab this little funky meat thing. Like, I don't know, sometimes, I feel like they always spawn at least somewhat net, at least somewhat close to, um, shrine a lot of the time. I always seem to encounter them after shrines, or like at least somewhat nearby them, and I don't know if that's like a set thing or not, I haven't checked it, but I feel like it is because They've pretty much always been like semi close by shrines. Like, not immediately outside, but like a five second walk from them. <laughs> so that's my gut feeling on that. 
It might be confirmation bias, though. <laughs> like, now, after, like, the first couple of times it happened, I'm now very paranoid of coming outside of shrines that aren't, like, directly next to a stable or something. Um, or in a town. I'm like, oh, oh, one might spawn. One might spawn. Let's not walk on the ground here. That would be a bad idea. Don't walk on the ground. Never walk on the ground directly after a stable. Or not a stable, a shrine. Um, that's my personal rule now. You know what? I feel like Lionels are significantly less common now. I feel like I've only seen like a couple. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm just like coincidentally avoiding them, <laughs> but they might have been like partially taken over by Gleox, I suppose. Gleox and um, Flux, Monstrux. Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. look these up just to see what the patterns are because I have a rough idea of them but um, um, yeah it's kind of muscly yeah very muscly very dehydrated cannon looking <laughs> Have I tried Tonkai Star Rail? I have not. Um, I don't know if I'm going to. Um, I'm trying to reduce the amount of- or I'm trying to keep the amount of gacha games I play at any given time not too high, <laughs> you know? Um, but honestly, I'm not all that interested in Honkai, so... I don't know. I have a, a lot of my friends have started playing it, but I'm just like, eh. <laughs> eh. I'm, I think I'm kind of good. Don't Genshin? No. I stopped playing Genshin like a year ago. I think. I think it was like a year ago. And I have not touched it since. I was starting to really hate it. Um. I don't think I even finished like the Inazuma stuff. I was saying I left it about a year ago, but Honkai is more fun, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it, it is more traditional RPG, I suppose, but just, I don't know, I don't really like the structure of games that release the story in parts like that, because um, I, I really lose interest in the time in between, um, and usually I don't get invested enough in the characters. Um, I don't know. So most live service games I can't really get into. Um, cause I just- I don't have enough interest to keep me going. <laughs> um, like only- I think the only one I play is a visual novel so it's not quite as bad and I don't mind it as much because the events are where- the events fill in gaps. A lot more than I found Genshin's did. Um, I don't know. Like, there's always stuff to do in the other one I play. Yeah, I just I can't I can't do life surface life service games like that. I 
mean, I think the only reason the other game I play I give a pass is just because it's a visual novel. Like, it's not- it's not really gameplay anyway. Um, so I actually don't care about the story as much, I'm just like, yeah. Gameplay. Um, because it has, like, actual gameplay sections that I'm much more interested in. Um, of, like, a traditional RPG format, so it's just like, yep, that's fine. I can enjoy that way more, I think. Um. I think I'm just very much not a live service game enjoyer for the most part. This is a struggle. So I feel like with Genshin, right, a lot of the appeal of open world games is like exploring for stuff, right? And so I feel like sometimes with that, with Genshin, there's a lot of dead space, I feel like. But it's not like, it's not dead space in the same sense that like Breath of the Wild or um, other open world games have, where there's still stuff there to explore. But I feel like when there's Dead Space in Genshin, it's, there's nothing to actually explore there. Like, it's just field. <laughs> because I, I feel like Genshin is over-reliant on... I don't know. It's over-reliant on events and boss uh, grinding. It's overly grindy, you know. And I feel like there's not very much... Like, when you find a, a chest in Genshin, there's only so many things it could be, right? And it's... Well, it's not even, like, actively with loot. It's just, like, level up materials most of the time, right? I feel like that kind of contributes, because it, it means there's no wonder about like, oh, I see a chest over there, what will it be? Because it's just, it's just gonna be level up materials, that's it. And, um, maybe some very low level, um, whatchamacallums? Um, it's, it's just not very worth it, you know? So I, I feel like there's no... Nothing. Yeah. Your birthday is in a few days. Spider-Verse 2 comes out. Table 4 beta. Street Fighter 6 releases. Yeah. I was looking at um, local showings for Spider-Verse. And happy early birthday also. Um, at my local cinema. My local cinema is an art cinema. So usually for animated films, they really only have it for like... Three days. Um... They decided to extend it to a whole six days for, sp for Across the Spider-Verse. <laughs> I'm just like, damn. Wow. Pulling out all the stops. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Okay. 
Ana. Might just wait and stream in your server. <laughs> the possibility. Do you invite me to watch a movie with you guys sometimes? May maybe. Um, perhaps. That just depends what I'm feeling. I don't like... I don't like setting out to watch stuff um, really far ahead of times just because I don't always know if I'm going to have the focus to watch stuff. You know?
I like having my new PC that isn't quite as new anymore. <laughs> it's six months old now. Um, because I can actually, like, check Discord while I'm streaming. Wow. <laughs> I can multitask on stream. What the hell? And not worry about everything dying immediately. Oh, crazy. Yeah, I want to try and get the fingers a bit better. Fingers are kind of the hard part. <laughs> They're a the hard part to bullshit. They are kind of chunky though. One is a technology, multiple multiple windows and tabs, right? And also multiple monitors, even more so. Means I can actually like respond to stuff in the moment if I want to. No. Crazy. Wild. Never before could this have been done. Center, right? That's what I have. A uh, 3060 Ti is what I have. Um, so just like a little tiny step below, but not too different, I suppose. Yeah, um, I did go quite out of my way to make sure that my PC was fucking bulky. <laughs> Cause like, I have- I can actually afford to get shit that's probably not gonna go fully out of date for a good while. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, so I did. So, like, try to somewhat future-proof it, you know? So I, I I did get quite a lot of good stuff in it. Um, like I got, I think, Intel i9, I believe. I was originally gonna get an i5, I was like, why, why am I doing that one? I could just get an i5 instead. <laughs> um, and, like, my SSD. Aside from the one that clearly had like a, a fucking weird ass issue, um, like my SSD is a fire CUDA. Um, like it's it's not a weak SSD by any means. I just got really bad luck on that first one, evidently. But um, it was like a one terabyte SSD. So. We got room. It is a little bit on roids. I had to like, um, for my short film, I was trying to express to uh, the person who was doing compositing, like, I genuinely think my PC would be faster for rendering if you need it. Because I can almost guarantee it has better parts. <laughs> 
Like, I can't 100% guarantee it, but, like, I made this shit for streaming. It's... It can handle... It can handle a lot. Trust me. And then they never did. It was like, fucking whatever, man. <laughs> Like, I- I did quite a good, decent chunk of research trying to, uh, make sure. Trying to make sure that, um, everything would work and everything was decently good. Um, like, double checking- because I'm not- I'm decent with technology, but I'm not, like, <clears throat> super knowledgeable, right? Because I have not gone out of my way. It's pretty much I only gain the knowledge when I need to and go on extensive Googling sprees to understand. Um, but I'm I'm pretty decent at understanding. <clears throat> and so like I did go quite out of my way. My stack when you showed it to us, I was pretty surprised. Yeah, because it was basically like I was originally I was like, I need to get a PC. I was originally gonna get like quite a cheap one because I didn't have much money. Um, but then I got access to enough money to actually be able to afford a good one. So I was like, fuck it, I'll make sure it's actually good, good. You know? It, so it is not a weak PC. And I'm very happy with it, aside from that one SSD issue, but that was like... I, I legitimately don't know what the fuck happened with that, and the tech support guy I was talking to was also very confused. Because <laughs> we were both like, this is supposed to be a really good SSD, why is it failing already? Um, so it literally, it must have just been a shit one out of the gate, um, unfortunately. Like, it came out of the factory already kind of fucked, I suppose. <clears throat> but you know. It happens. So hopefully the current one will not have that happen. You know? Most ideally. Multi SSDs are one of the few things I'm afraid of. Yeah, luckily I am very paranoid and I do not store things on the SSD so it only functions... Like, I, I well, I store some stuff on the SSD but it's... I now back it up. <laughs> um, I will be, once I have more games like actually started that I kind of care about the save files for, I will actually start backing those up um, on my hard drive. Um, but like, the only- I was gonna make a, a recovery drive, but I physically couldn't do one because Windows is kind of shit about it. So I gave up on doing that, um, and I'm just gonna manually back stuff that I think I need to back up. Um... Yeah. Thanks, Windows. Um, but like, I now have a Windows recovery stick. Or, well, not Windows recovery. I have a Windows boot stick. A Windows install stick. I suppose that's more so... That's more accurate. <laughs> um... Like, I have that now, so if anything happens again, I'll be able to at least boot to Windows and see if things can be recovered. But... Significantly faster. Uh, than last time. But, yeah. I am very paranoid now. <laughs> um, so I will continue to never fucking store anything on that SSD except for the boot itself. Essentially. Um, I am also scared of my hard drive deciding to die, but I don't know. More so because I do actually store stuff on that, because that is ex its express purpose <laughs> is for storage. Um, so I am actually a bit afraid of that failing, but I still try to back stuff up off of that as well. Um, I will no longer keep things in a single location for any extended amount of time, purely out of fear of it happening again. Brutal flash eyes are pretty classic, have them as well. Yeah, I think- I didn't know that that was like an important thing to have, but now I do! 
Because that kind of saved my fucking ass. Um, because, you know, obviously in the event of, like, a complete failure, you need something to install Windows from. So you kind of need one. Um, but it also, like, it gives you access to Windows recovery stuff as well. Um, which was not helpful this time around because the entire SSD was fucked. Um, I also, <laughs> I learned a shocking amount about, uh, where everything in my BIOS is when that happens. I spent like two full days searching through it, essentially. Not two full days, but like I, I spent an extended period of time trying to fix things from the BIOS. <laughs> I now know way too much about where everything in my BIOS is. <laughs> um, I also have like... I don't know if it's because I never actually went back into the BIOS after I made the complete, the new install on the new SSD. But now when I boot up my PC, I have like the little... Before it actually boots, it comes up with the little flashing, um, whatchamacallit? What was it actually called? Like, typing symbol from, like, the little default, um, code thing that I was getting a bunch of errors from. That pops up for like a split second before it boots and I don't know if it's because I never double checked my boot order or what. <laughs> I might- I, I I mean it's not necessary I don't think. I It boots up fine so I don't think it's a problem but it comes up now. I, I don't recall it happening before I made uh, the new install, got the new SSD, so I think it might be a remnant from the boot order, but I haven't checked it. <laughs> and it might be an idea too at some point, but who knows. It might just be that it's looking for something to boot from first and then it's like, okay, well I guess we do like the normal PC boot. I think that's what's happening with it. I'm not worried about it, it's just like, oh that's kind of funny. Um, but it does- it does give a few extra seconds of anxiety, I suppose. This is gonna be like, quite tedious. <laughs> These fucking lines. The weird muscle lines. Fucked up. Um, yeah. I don't know. I learned quite a lot about um, PCs with that. <laughs> um, so I, I quite literally, um, I don't remember if I talked about this in the Discord at the time, but I quite literally went through like every single checklist for trying to fix an SSD and determining if it's fucked or not. I went through all of it. I spent two full days doing it multiple times before I ended up calling customer support. Or not customer support, technical support. Um, because by that point, by the time I actually called technical support, I knew what the issue was and I knew I just needed a replacement SSD. So it was like, I need to call them to enact my warranty to get that. Um, so that I don't have to pay 100 quid. Or 80 quid? I think it was like 80 quid at the time for the SSD, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but like, I went through everything and I told the tech support guy everything that I had done try and fix it and like he quite he quite literally was just like well thank you for saving me time because you've already done everything I would ask you to do so we already know what the issue is <laughs> um which is quite fun I suppose I'm just like yep I did everything um You know, so now I have extensive knowledge on how tech with SSD is fucked permanently. <laughs> um, I also now have an SSD cage. Or, well, it's like, um, 
a data to USB cake. Um, I just spent like 20 quid on and never even ended up really using. It was like a last ditch attempt to see if I could lift anything off of my SSD and I could not. Um, okay, I'm gonna put Chell to bed. He's getting screamy. Creamy little boy. <laughs> Creamy tidy tiny tiny boy. Um it's getting too late for him, apparently. <coughs> um but yeah, I so I now have extensive knowledge on doing that. <laughs> um so if it happens again I'll be able to I won't even have to like look shit up because I'll already know. I'll know what to do. I suppose it's kind of good, but also not so good in some ways. We learn things. We do be learning. Unfortunately. <laughs> Um, it was kind of wacky though, because I had literally been talking to um, one of my lecturers like two weeks prior to that, um, where I'd been talking about like, yeah, no, um, I do in fact back up all of my stuff that's on my PC. Um, like I don't keep stuff on that, on my SSD, um, because I'm worried about a failure. Um, especially about after, like, all of the, um, mentions of backing stuff up constantly throughout this course. Um, because she had- because I had talked about, like, um, storage stuff. Um, and, you know, luckily all of my stuff was on cloud drives, so I could access everything just fine, even with the SSD failure. Or, well, I could access stuff on my, uh, laptop. You know. <clears throat> so I could still actually work on stuff. But it was just like, I was literally talking to my lecturer like two weeks ago about how I had backups in case of this exact situation. <laughs> what the hell? Wow, my mother does not like me having a water bottle directly in front of my face, huh? <laughs> From VTube Studio, rather. Does not like it. Um, <clears throat> it was like, go figure that the first time I have like an actual serious tech failure is right before literally my most important assessments. Of course. And luckily, like, I had those, had everything on cloud drives and not just purely on my PC, so. I, I was not actually severely set back by it, which was very, very lucky, because if I had been storing stuff on that SSD, I would have been fucked. <laughs> um, which was a very big, like, oh, they were not fucking kidding. <laughs> yeah, my, my course was very... Like, all of the lecturers were very anal about getting us to back stuff up uh, on cloud drives and stuff. Because they were basically just like, you will at some point have a tech failure. You will. So just have backups. Just do it. Um, I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, okay, I find it easier to store stuff on cloud drives anyway. Um, so I will do that. Um... You know, save my ass. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> but, oof. Oof, that could have been really bad.
Good luck in the see you later. Okay, see ya. Um oh, yeah. I I'm now very paranoid of tech failure. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get over that anytime soon. That was pretty rough. Um I always forgot the beautiful your voice out. Thank you. Like, yeah, I oh Oh. <laughs> the fear. Like, I, I had like a good few cries during that because I was so fucking stressed out over it as well. I feel like that was the bigger thing. Like, it was easy enough to handle, but like, I was fucking stressed because like, I just want to use my PC, man. And I. I had it, it was just out for a week. You know, that kind of sucked. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking rough. I, I genuinely hope it doesn't happen again anytime soon. Because even, even though I do know how to fix it, it was just stressful for no reason. No good reason to be that stressful. <laughs> like, especially when I didn't actually know what was going on. Um... It wasn't great. Didn't love it. Zero out of ten, would not recommend. Is it gonna be so annoying to color with later? Lines, lines, and I'm almost done though. This is the last hand arm thing. <laughs> there we go. And There's like a little bubble ready to come out of. I'm not entirely sure. I've never looked too closely. <laughs> I'm too scared to. Here we.
have it just of just barely above the cliff layer that can clip down to it. I need to. I just lean slightly. <laughs> Whereas if I go this way, I end up turning back a bit, right? But it doesn't do that this way, it just like fully leans me. So I just end up like shooting off screen. I should shrink myself a little bit, perhaps. i do that a bit less. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe a bit less drastic at the very least. <laughs> I don't That's not very necessary. Just mm. thinking there if I would end up um, blurring background things. I don't think so. I don't think I will. But something to consider now. Just so that I can more easily separate the layers, I suppose. But I don't think I will. I think it's fine.
You know what? Hold on. Slightly easier, I think. Um, blood. Way too complicated a texture to fully replicate, but I can. Give me a very rough idea. It looks more like a planet, to be honest. do for now. I'm gonna render the background first, I think. I'm gonna flat color everything first. Um, <clears throat> but then I'll prioritize background.
sih It's like a really intense red. Really intense. This is what I'm gonna do. That's one way of doing it. Certainly, certainly one of the ways. Do what I wanted to do there. Maybe not that. Maybe this one or so.
trying to be quite subtle about the line around it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just... I will add the clouds back in. Um, we'll do all the black colors first, I think. Probably with red, a red look. I think that'll help quite a bit, quite significantly. Probably. No, I won't hide the lines too much. I'm really trying to eyeball this. Best colors would be... That's maybe not what I want, actually. Mm. 
make it to for this real quick. And Maybe a bit too hard. What's there? Those are also fucking bright red on the blood moon, huh? Pretty sky. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't plan on blurring this too much, so. Maybe a bit of issue in hindsight. Um, have the, the base sky layer be the topmost. <laughs> Clouds! More! <laughs> Should be better. Doesn't matter. I'm rendering the clouds a bit more anyway.
This will mean I can actually give a bit more depth to the clouds. Always nice. I like drawing clouds this way, it's quite easy. <laughs> but it looks quite nice, I think. Done a little bit better. I feel like it gives like a good amount of depth for clouds doing them like this. They look fluffy enough, but I uh, you can still. Do it really easily, honestly. It's literally, it's just an airbrush, you know. It's a good, good level of depth when you know how to do it. Thank you. 
We all clouds. <laughs> Clouds. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a pain. Wait a minute. There's a better way of doing this. Way easier. Way easier. Is there going to be something like this? Mm, no, I can't really tell it was before. Alright, I am very indecisive. About how the hell I should even color these. It's quite difficult to do. It's quite complex in the um, in-game model of the lighting.
I think that looks pretty decent. I'm not rendering it right now, technically. Left side. I've been starting to really enjoy doing backgrounds recently, um, with illustrations. I don't know, like, I'm not a background person by any means, but I'm kind of starting to actually like doing it, somehow. I never thought I'd actually start to think, because I used to fucking hate backgrounds with my entire being. But... Hmm? Wait. Yeah, that'll work. Put all these off into folders so I actually know where things are roundabout. about. Really quite helpful. I feel like that river should be more right. Not river, waterfall? Waterfall. Waterfall.
And then there's like... <laughs> image, the color pecking. I should color pick mostly from Breath of the Wild, like. Because that actually has, like, model renders. <laughs> relatively okay image, you know? <laughs> hmm. Oh. That's a pretty good one. If there's any better ones, um... <laughs> oh, this one will do, actually. Oop. <laughs> this is a little awkward. I only need like this part. Here we go. <laughs> Look at it all as background. Just disable it. Yeah, that'll do. <coughs> Oops. 
right? Yes, I shot off the eye. I think I would learn that by this point. With my own fucking art style. That I've been doing for years. You look so silly. <laughs> I just realized, in this image, it is not as broken, and now I'm like, oh, damn. I might have... I'm not undoing it, though. But... Yeah. I think it looks cooler. With the arm ripped off, anyway. It's a bit more panic. I need to lighten stuff a bit. I think there's like a slight blue filter. Why it's looking a little odd. Thank you. 
if it's gonna matter much once I put like the actual color filter layers on top of this, but whatever. Shut up, Creative Cloud. Go away. I'll do. <laughs> Nothing good enough. a little bit.
<laughs> Good enough. Honestly, not all that exciting. Just, um, just a whole bunch of color filling. <laughs> Is that on the same layer? I made a new layer for you. Where did it go? Anyway. Do the texture. No point wasting breath on trying to replicate fucking chainmail. I suppose. <laughs> I'm gonna lock this. So I don't make more layers and not actually make layers. Cause my my clip center seems to have an issue where sometimes it won't always register a click. I'm not sure if it's a tablet issue or a Clip Studio issue, actually. Um, but it does that, and I don't love it. I don't want to try and do the fucking patterns for this thing. Not really, but...
I'm not even gonna fucking bother with weapons. I just realized I didn't do them and I'm like, whatever, he has none. <laughs> they all broke. I mean, he's on his own eye device, to be fair. Actually, yeah. Probably doesn't matter too much. Mm -hmm. Is this is supposed to be shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, oops. I missed like the hand guard part there. Yeah. Oops. New colors. Colors. How's the art going? I mean, right now it's just yeah, <laughs> getting down on the flats. So I can actually like paint and stuff and make it look all pretty. It's actually not supposed to be hurt.
Okay, there's one. Grab this random one's colors. Oof.
Ooh. And then the glider. For the wing. the colors from the off the gas. Oh, it's actually dry. The reference again. <laughs> Like, I actually know where the colors go. <laughs> Wherever it is. Anyway. Actually, see. Oh, the placement. <laughs> Why am I leading that far off? Excuse me.
I just noticed that I don't do like the little tiling on these parts, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with those, I suppose. Not at this point. Yeah. Not at this point, anyway. I'm over it. Oh, it's back. Oh, hey.
Oof. That was very ice trainy for a moment. Jeez. I don't think that's quite necessary, actually. Fine. Got it. through the sky a little bit. Okay. Looks good to me. Hum, hum, hum. this a bit.
quite sure what the best way to go, go about shading these guys is. Quite odd. <laughs> behind those guys a bit just a bit Yeah, that works. That works for them.
I didn't notice that little spillover, but get out of here. that tree to get out of the way too. You should be here instead. <laughs> I love having to rework my layers just because I didn't think I had enough. Every time. There's always at least one.
Rocks are hard to feed and annoying. But also kind of fun in some ways. But continuously frustrating in others. <laughs> Like, trying to make this look as correct as I can. Even if only correct by absolute bullshit standards. Did the other one get entirely hidden by the clouds? No, oh, where'd it go? <laughs> what happened to it? Right fucking here. Stupid. Thank you. 
Hombres. Or Chrono Racer, rather. What?
The background mostly brand new, I think. Oh, I like how I drew that tree and it just gets completely covered up anyway. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I like that, I suppose. Sometimes you draw a tree and it won't even be seen in the art anyway. Whatever.
Yeah, I think I can get this done tonight, which is nice.
being very active in the chat. No, it's fine. It's okay. I'm just being quiet anyway. Just because I'm trying to focus. You know. Fine. You don't have to stress out over talking in chat. I just kind of lost the focus mode thing I made. I'm not entirely sure if it still exists anywhere. I can't put it up.
Yeah, I'm reminded. Um, so recently I started posting um, the time lapses for a lot of my finished illustrations onto TikTok. Because I figured like, yeah, okay, well I have these and they're basically, like I've already made the content. I just need to like edit it slightly for TikTok, um, put music on it, whatever, you know. Um, easy content. Um, and one of them, like someone was asking like, oh, how do you shade? Um, can you make a tutorial? I was like, I don't, there's not much to make a tutorial on for the way I shade because I just use a multiply layer. That's it. Like the way I shade, like I tried to explain over text. It was just like, it's not, there's not that much to make video content on. Also, I don't make tutorials. I don't know how to. I'm not good at explaining my process at all. It's just like, it, it, it's just a multiply layer. Is it? <laughs> just cell shading. Um, there's not all that much to explain, I feel like. Personally, anyway. Just not. Not a lot there. I know. Like, I feel like you can see it. Like the way I do it here. Just, Just cell shading. And honestly, it's like, I can't- the only thing with cell shading is like, you have to use some logic to figure out where to shade, and there's not much I can teach for how to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. Let's just like, learn what a light source is. I- I can't tell you much more, you know? I mean, no shade to that person, obviously, but it's just like, I, not much there. I don't feel like it's very tutorial worthy, you know? Like, if it was something like the way I do line art, like that, I could be like, okay, yeah. Sure. Sure. But. <laughs> That was like a recent thing. Perplexed me for a little bit. I also just didn't have time to make a tutorial. Anyway, even if there was anything to talk about. I was like, mm. huh?
<laughs> What's that? Huh. Pretty much. Oh. Whoop. Finishing touches then, I suppose. Hello, hello, thank you for the raids. Not to prevail, welcome, welcome. We I think my shadow should still work. <laughs> Question mark. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> welcome, welcome, how was your stream? I hope it went well. They were playing Tears of the Kingdom, which makes sense. <laughs> Aren't we all? Uh, I'm actually... I like a good place to pop after. TOTK, TOTK art. Yeah, unfortunately I'm kind of finishing this up now, but... <laughs> thank you anyway. Um, you at least get to see the end result, which is still nice, I suppose. Um, I'm pretty much just like adding extra lighting right now.
Oh, I suppose this tree at the bottom could probably use a bit of extra lighting there. Kind of blending in a lot. <laughs> Maybe blue would actually highlight slightly better. Mm. The difficulties of work trying to get colors to work correctly. I love it. <laughs> oh, look better with me giving highlights to link size or not? better without the highlights, I think. It's a lot more panicked. <laughs> Feeling of- ah! <laughs> Every time one of these hands comes up. I fucking hate them. <laughs> They're kind of easy to beat, but ooh. I wish they'd stop jump scaring me. Coming out of nowhere. Gone to the point where every time I come out to the shrine, I'll just beeline it to the nearest ledge so that I'm not on the ground just in case. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with you. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I want to add any extra lighting past that. Maybe a bit much then. That's pretty much it. <laughs> that is it done. And given that this is 1am, I should probably be finishing up stream about now anyway. I suppose I should actually remember to raid. <laughs> raid someone, probably. Might be an idea. Who's even on right now? Who's even on right oh, now? Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Quite a lot of people. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, a lot of people. Was, yeah. Let's see if I can find another artist, perhaps. Hmm. 
wish this was a bit easier to narrow down. <laughs> Oh. Well, that doesn't help. It's just me showing up there. Really? There's no one doing art who's also tagged it as Tears of the Kingdom? Damn. Well, I suppose I'll manually go search for someone. <laughs> someone has to be. But if not, I'll just send you guys on to another artist. Oh, here's Jarg Shrek. people streaming art, but not a lot of people doing these of the Kingdom art specifically. <laughs> oh, I mean there's one first. Well, I prefer a VTuber, but I send to that person. There's a lot of people streaming art right now. It's just the time, I suppose. this person that's I found. They are an IRL streamer. Um, at least they're on camera, anyway. But they seem- they have a cute aesthetic and they're doing some paintings. Um, or Tears of the Kingdom related, anyway. Zelda- broadly Zelda it looks like. Um, so I'll send you guys onto this person. Kiki Stardust. Because I really like the looks of their aesthetic. So, thank you all for coming. If you came for a little bit or a lot of it, either way, I appreciate it. Um, be nice! <laughs> That's it! Thank you! Bye bye! Bye bye! I don't know why I'm waving. You can't see me waving. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 